Hey, it's Pastor Mike. I'll keep this short because I know you want to listen to today's message. You're here because you want to continue growing in your faith, and we at Time of Grace want the exact same thing for you. Just visit us at timeofgrace.org, and you'll find a ton of resources at your fingertips, like sermons, videos, books, devotions, our blog, and of course, more podcasts. See you there. My high school classmate and friend, John Johnson, is a career military man. He served our nation for 23 years and is still serving. Recently, John and I had a conversation and I asked him, hey, man, when you are out and you're wearing your military uniform, just out of curiosity, how many people stop you? How many people come over to you and and say thanks and show their appreciation? And John said, well, most of the time, at least someone um, says something. And at first I was happy with that. And then I asked a follow-up question. I said, well, of those people that stop you, about how many themselves are veterans? That they know the sacrifice, they know the work, they know what you have poured in. He said at least 50%, maybe more. And I was a little bummed about that. And John could hear that in my voice. And so he goes, it's, it's okay, man. That's I didn't join the military for the thanks. Um, I just had it in my heart and just felt it was the right thing to do. Well, how about us that we do the right thing, that we express our deep, sincere, grateful thanks for our military men and women? for all that they've done, the sacrifices that they have made, how they've put their lives on hold, how their families make sacrifices. They do so, so much that we can be just be free in our lives. Do you stop a veteran? Do you talk to them and show your appreciation to them? Let's make it 100%. That 100% of the time that you see someone in a military uniform that you go over and express your thanks. 100% of the time, they see a veteran with a hat on that says veteran and the, the, the war that they served in, that 100% of the time, they get stopped. And you sh- put your hand out and you shake their hand and you look them in the eye and you say, thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. Now, if you've tried that, most of the time veterans, they, they kind of pass it away and say, oh, it's okay. Don't let them go. Let them know. Let them know how sincerely thankful that you are. And then do everything in your means that you can do to help them. If that means buy their their meal, then buy their meal. If that's sending dessert to their table just to show appreciation and thanks, they're buying groceries, buy their groceries or or part of their groceries. Do what you can, whatever you can, 100% of the time, so that they know how deeply thankful that we are to them. Now, if you're a veteran, know that most of us aren't going to stop you because most of us don't want to bother you or or get into your life or be intrusive. And so for every one person that stops you, there's, there's hundreds more that have noticed you and are thankful for all that you've done. So today, veterans, I want to be the one. I want to be the one to say thank you. Sincerely, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all the sacrifices that you have made. I am thankful. We are thankful. All of us here at Your Time of Grace, we are thankful for you. God said in the book of Philippians, through the pen of Paul, I thank my God in all of my remembrance for you. We thank God in all of our remembrance for you. So thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. You are not forgotten. You will never be forgotten. 